You know, innovation is happening everywhere. Um, and you know, the, 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 the saying innovate or die. And I think the leaders at Indeed are very cognizant of the fact that just because we're number one now doesn't mean we'll be number one tomorrow. And the only way to stay as number one and the only way to continue to grow and to scale and to add value to the community and, and continue to build the products that we do is to continuously innovate. And this day and age, the best way to innovate is to create these incubator programs um, and these innovation labs, these real life R&D labs, where we're able to test and experiment and um, build MVPs and scale and grow. Um, and I think you know, building an infrastructure that enables that is really valuable to the the future success of the company and our and we're very fortunate that our leaders have taken a very hands-on approach um, to understanding what the the mission behind the incubator is and why we're building incubator and i think a lot of times when i speak to innovation um, innovation leaders like myself i find that there's a misalignment between um, executive leadership and the incubator program whether it's like expectations that are misaligned or whether it's you know they just don't have the correct buy-in, or even when it comes to like attitude about failure or perception of failure. Um, and one of the things that I think Indeed has done really well um, is having executive buy-in from day one. So our, our senior leadership team are part of the decision makers and they're the investment committee and they sponsor these, these products. So every product that, that we decide to fund has an advisor on the executive committee board. And so that person will help um, advise the, the direction of the product. And so they take a very hands-on approach to what we're building. And so this not only enables an alignment, um, but it also gives our team um, opportunity to have access to the best and brightest minds of Indeed and, and create this business alignment, um, as well as this just having access to this wealth of knowledge as an executive leader. Um, and then another thing, is, is our approach to failure. So um, we are we don't see failure as failure. We see failure as a learning experience. And it's on us to be able to repackage that and to be able to share those experiences. So it's not as though we're just building products, shutting them down or scaling them. We're also sharing our learnings with the rest of Indeed. We're also democratizing innovation in a way that hadn't existed before the emergence of this incubator program. And that is in large part to the way that the leaders look at, at what failure is. And, you know, our CEO said something that was really compelling. And he said, you know, like, the next best thing to a product getting more funding to continue to grow is the product, just the product leaders and the, the, the product people deciding to shut down the product. Um, knowing that we're not going to throw more money at a, at a problem that we can't fix or a solution that just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. um, and so being able to say like, hey, like we, we tested it, we tried it, it didn't work. Let's, let's teach people, let's share this knowledge and then move on to the next is really valuable. And I think a lot of incubator programs don't have that um, same perception of, of what failure is and, and how we can repurpose that to be le a, like very valuable learning experiences. And in the end, that winds up saving time, money, resources um, for multiple teams throughout the organization. Mm -hmm. 